Free housing on your dime. More than a dozen Johnson County employees have been living in homes built on park land without paying taxes, rent, or utilities. Some are being asked to pack up and move, but investigator Ryan Katz finds out that some will continue enjoying that on-the-job perk. An audit blasted Johnson County's Park and Rec District for spending more than $90,000 every year on housing for 13 employees, some in well-paid management positions. We wanted to know how long taxpayers will be asked to foot the bill. And I think it's wrong that this has gone on for so many years. Spend a few minutes in Tom Price's kitchen and you'll quickly learn he keeps a close eye on how his tax money is spent. So what is that cost per exposure? The longtime Johnson County homeowner even watches public meetings on his computer and lately he's been shaking his head in frustration. I feel like that, that I'm being cheated on my taxes. Price is talking about 13 homes located in county parks. For years, they've been occupied by county employees free of charge. A recent county audit called it, quote, a waste of public resources. I'm pretty frustrated that it's gone on for eight months. Commissioner Calvin Hayden has been ticked about it ever since. If somebody would have told me that we had 13 employees living on county property, I, I would have probably called him a liar. We talked to Hayden at Kill Creek Park. In the background is one of the nicest homes on the list, where a guy making 90 grand had been living for years. Now these weren't the frontline guys doing this. This is this is management, and that's I don't think it can get any more wrong than that. Under pressure, Park and Rec officials have asked the employees to move out by August 1st. However, three of the workers will stay and begin paying rent and utilities for what's described as 24-7 job responsibilities. They include the caretakers at White Fox Stable, Timber Ridge Adventure Center, and Milldale Farm. The superintendent at Tomahawk Golf Course was also going to avoid a change of address, but didn't make the final cut. These include the land they're sitting on. Park and Rec Director Michael Metters shared the new housing policy with us. He believes the county will be sacrificing some on-site maintenance and security previously taken for granted. This policy has served this organization well, but we're also mindful of the of the political world that our Board of County Commissioners are in and the perception to the average taxpayer that we don't have the five minutes to tell the story and defend why this has been in place this long. A compromise for many, but still not far enough for taxpayers like Tom Price, who wants the county out of the real estate business. I don't care what they do to the houses, they can burn them down, they can bulldoze them, I don't care, but empty them. In some cases, Tom will get his wish. Homes with no future use will be torn down and salvaged. Other homes will be converted to office space, and some homes sitting on undeveloped parkland will be rented out to the public. On paper, this saves $72,000, but the district argues it will have to pay overtime for some of the maintenance previously provided by on-site workers. Ryan Kaff, NBC Action News.